Charity. I'm the principal of the Cobbett Elementary School in Lynn, Massachusetts. We implemented the REACH curriculum three years ago, and while it was a um, huge task to take on because the shift was so dramatic um, to the Common Core Standards, that REACH really gave us the resources and the know-how to shift to the Common Core. Um, they provided us with training and in the best practices um, in teaching and our teachers felt very supported in systematically implementing the program. What is so fabulous about REACH is that it provides relevant, authentic text to students, that it empowers them to learn. And it has transformed our school into a learning environment. And why wouldn't any principal want that? My students are running out the door saying, Mom, guess what I learned today? It's amazing. Um, you know, just recently we had um, community members come in to the school and talk about their good deeds to the grade two students. And they use that in their writing projects um, pertaining to their citizenship and being a good citizen. So it even reaches out to the community and it um, and embraces the school in learning. Um, one of the major structures that we implement here at Cobbett are data walls in the classroom where students can track their academic growth. Um, kindergarten students, grade one students, all the way to grade five students, each classroom has a data wall for reading and math. And what we have seen in the past four years here at Cobbett is a traumatic increase in our growth rate. Um, so we, we don't really met, we don't look at students and say are they proficient or not. We look at where they come in and how we can get them to grow to close the achievement gap. And students are a part of that process. They are able to look at their growth and motivate themselves to keep on growing and keep on learning because they see themselves transforming through the process. So teamwork and high expectations have been the motto here for the past three years since I came. If we don't work as a team, the, implement, the implementation would be very difficult. Um, the reading teachers, the ESL teachers, the resource teachers, the classroom teachers all work as a team. And within the grade level, we created a waterfall schedule so that those teachers would be in the classrooms providing small group instruction, which really helps the child get differentiated instruction within the REACH program to meet their needs. So um, that scheduling is very powerful um, if it's done properly between the support staff and the classroom teacher and the child is able to have a schedule where their needs are met in the classroom. Um, data is also, um, we have a PLT meetings where professional development is given in reach and we use that red uh, book, that the best practice book to um, learn the routines of the reach program and to look at student data. And what we've learned is, is that we can look at everyone's data and see that it, it doesn't we can't look at one isolated year or even one trimester. We have to look at the big picture. And what we're seeing is that by the time our kids are getting to fourth grade, they are proficient. They are achieving. They are on grade level. And it's very difficult for the younger grade teachers to look at the data and say, oh, you know, they're struggling. You know, what can I do? But it is also great for them to see that by the time they get to third, fourth, fifth grade, they've closed the gap.